Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM Enemy Within. So it is time. We are doing portent. Before we go though, I might want to sell a few more corpses so that we can make another med kit. Because I would like to have more than one for this. Let's at least make one more here. Especially since I'll have three supports. We are so this is going to be our squad. Because that's exactly the six people I got who aren't wounded and who aren't rookies. The supports actually have pretty decent aim. Arpit has 87 at Corporal and the squadies both have 78 each. So hey, that's pretty good. Can we change anything else in here? Uh, not really. Well, equip the medkits, I guess. What's their health again? 5, 4... Okay, I will keep the arc thrower in case we get a chance to capture a thin man, which we might, who knows. And the other two supports will get the medkits. Yeah, we're keeping the arc thrower on the guy with sprinter because that makes sense. And I think that's it. I can't really afford another scope. I could sell more corpses, I suppose. How much is a scope again? 14 credits. We will get more corpses from this. Okay, let's sell two thin man corpses. And uh, we'll just make another scope. A scope for a sniper just makes sense. Let's go then. Excellent. So you will get a scope. And this guy's aim is not that great. He could definitely use a scope. Here you go, buddy. Alright, time to go. I'm curious how this will go. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Good news is, Portent is a very scripted mission. But that does not mean it's easy, you know. It's still pretty damn hard. But at least it's predictable. Okay. So the first problem are going to be two men on the roof. Right here-ish. There's a building over there. And they will land on the roof. So we'll want to be careful about that. First we can safely move forward. And this mission will have a lot of thin men. One of the problems is that they get high ground pretty easily. Especially on this map. There's a lot of high ground that they can get on this map. That's one of the biggest problems with this entire mission. Alright, there's not that much point using Overwatch right now, actually. Because we know they won't pop up right now. But I guess we might as well do it anyway. Alright, yeah, so again, we know for a fact they will be here. But it's still Thin Men we're talking about. They are still pretty damn dangerous. We will move into the room right here. And then we'll open this door. There's a door over there. I can also set up on the roof, but we can use the ladder inside the building to go there. Because I don't want to trigger anything prematurely. We will definitely want our snipers on the roof, but I also want them to be able to shoot as soon as we reveal the Thin Man. Which means I won't be able to use the high ground here. Not to mention the Thin Men themselves will be on the high ground initially. And that means me being on the roof will not give me the high ground advantage, because I will not have the high ground. Not against the two initial enemies, anyway. It should be fine to open this door right here, but there's no real need to do that. Okay, so we have a few locations we can use here. We can set up over here, and we can set up over here. And then Arpid can go on the roof because he has Sprinter. He's the fastest out of anyone here. So he will go there, 
Where's that ladder exactly? Right here. Solid copy. Okay, so he'll go there. Not yet, obviously. And everyone else will set up. In here, obviously. Oh yeah, and here's a ladder, but that's outside, yeah? Yep, that's outside. Okay, Heinrich over here. Elsa over here. And then two people next to the door. And we'll have one extra person. Not quite sure where that person will go. Probably on the roof. Again. They should have enough movement range. Yeah, if they stand right next to the ladder, they should have enough movement range. Alright. Well, this is it. This is our setup for the initial engagement. With six soldiers it should be fine, but again, this is a tough mission no matter what. Okay, well, let's open the door, shall we? Knock knock. And there they are. Yeah, so two of them start on the roof immediately. One jumped down. Okay. And here are two more thin men. Some of them have to die, like right now. So that might get a little bit tricky. We'll have to hit. That's just it. I will have to hit. So let's move the supports first. We can set up on the roof before we take any other action. And I'll definitely want a smoke grenade on the roof by the end of this turn. We also want it to be at least three tiles apart. So like this. Because that way they will not hit me with the poison. As in, they will not hit more than one person at a time with poison. Mache on the roof. Okay, and now. Uh, this guy on the left will be the easiest to hit. 87%. Yeah, let's just shoot him. I think Kibwe will use his smoke grenade. Alright, let's go. 87%. Alright, I'll take it. One more. I guess Mache. I don't think I'm close enough for a grenade. Not from over here, no. Okay. Got him, nice one. That's one down. Thousands to go, am I right? Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see now. So this will be smoke. I have my snipers. Uh, let's use headshot then. 67, 82. Well, this is the obvious target. Alright, let's go. I can save one headshot for the next turn. Yeah, that's free damage. A bit disappointing. I don't need headshot against this dude. Now I just need to hit. We'll have second headshot available for the next turn. Oh sure, now you get a crit. Alright, smoke. Obviously we need that. That's the thing about this map and the thin man. You can either have them shoot you from the high ground while you're in full cover, or you can get the high ground yourself, but then you only have partial cover. Both these scenarios are bad for you. But yeah, high ground is nice, which is why high ground with partial cover and smoke is a little bit better than low ground with full cover. Do I want this shot? Okay, that's kind of pointless. Let's just hunker down with burns. It's fine. I fully expect one or both of them to use poison. But let's find out. Okay, that's good. He did not use poison. Here comes the second one. He gave up high ground, alright. I might be able to rocket them if I want to. Yeah, he'll use poison. That's annoying, but alright. Who's that? Is that Arpit? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll probably want to heal him. I'll definitely want to heal him. Anyway, we got two shots from the high ground here. 76% twice. Let's go. Come on, Mache. We should be able to get this done without any explosives. Come on, hit him at least once. Got it? Okay. 
who wants to finish the job? 58%. Okay, let's take that shot. Got it, one down. Not thousands to go, hopefully. Do I want to heal right now? Yeah, I probably do. I probably do, yeah. Can we kill that other Thin Man, though? Well, not really. Not really. I actually can't kill him. I actually can't kill him. Okay, let's get rid of the poison. Thanks, I'm cured. I guess the best we can do is Overwatch in this situation. Okay, Overwatch. He will probably move himself. Okay, yep, he's coming. Can we kill him with Overwatch? Let's friggin' go. Come on. Come on, come on. We were one damage off. That's disappointing, but at least it wasn't all misses. Will he try to shoot someone? He could use the poison himself. He's shooting. No, he's using poison. Okay, well, we're poisoned again. I was hoping to kill him with Overwatch, but alright. I don't think I'll be removing this one. I could in theory, but... That would be my last medkit. I don't think that's a good idea. And that's a miss. Oh yeah, let's get a kill for Heinrich. Maybe he can get squad sight by the end of this mission. Yeah, we can shoot from the high ground with a pistol. All I need is one single damage. This will be the best chance to hit. Alright, let's do it. 83%. Got it. Yeah, I'm just going to take some damage from this poison here. I don't like it, but... Well, it is what it is. Like I said, I only have one more medkit. That's my last one. Now, okay. I don't remember all of the spawn locations, but I'm reasonably certain there's one group on the right side, like here-ish, and there's definitely one group behind this building, in this general area. And our VIP should be like here or so. That's what I remember. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Let's do this. Anyway, let's reload everything. There's no reason not to just reload everything right now. There are no patrols on this map. It's all static. Yeah, do I want to remove this? He still has one more poison. I think I might want to, actually. I really don't like it because if somebody else gets critically wounded or poisoned, that's going to be a problem. But RPT is quite valuable. And 5 health is hell of a lot better than 3. So let's just heal him, remove the poison, and get full health. I don't like that I wasted 2 medkits for this, but... It is what it is, alright? It's fine. Now we'll reload everything. And set up. So, okay, I'll have to think about where we want to set up. I think Elsa could be here. Then Heinrich could be, like, here. Well, hold on. We still have more pods to kill. Because I'm already thinking about evacuating the VIP. But we're not there just yet. So, there's almost definitely a pod on the right side. Like, somewhere in this area. There was definitely a pod over there. Because I remember that. Where's Heinrich? So let's set up as close as possible, like this. Alright. I can probably go here safely. I should be able to. But let's not do that with a dash, okay? Let's not do that. Arpit has the best movement, so he can go. Okay. No sudden moves. We want to be careful. 
So now, okay, now we can send the R repeat like this. The roof itself should be clear. Okay, it's clear. Then we can also send the Kibwe. Okay, good. I could just send everyone. There should be enough space. Okay, what the heck? Let's just send everyone. The snipers will stay back here. I might have moved Heinrich, but I think Elsa will just stay there. For the rest of this mission. Since she has squad fight. Okay, so now... Now we can move here. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Does Mashi have enough movement? Uh, no, he needs to be a little bit closer because I want to be able to use the blow move and then still shoot. I'm pretty sure moving here will trigger a pod. I'm like 90% sure. Not 100, but about 90%. Okay, now we can move. Is there enough space for all of them? That's one, two, three. Okay, yeah, there is. So let's go. Okay, that's the VIP. There they are. Okay, so I was right. That's two thin men. Can we kill them both? Let's find out. Okay, Hunter is in range. Let's try headshot. No reason not to use headshot. Okay, nice. Does Elsa have line of sight to the other guy? She might not. Okay, no, she does. Good. Let's try headshot again. Let's go. Okay, I'll take it. We should be able to do free damage with someone, right? Especially from the high ground. Alright, let's go, people. Yep, that's a kill. Nice. So there should be one more pod. Somewhere over here-ish. So again, we'll use the high ground. I'm pretty sure there's a pod over there. I specifically remember a pod on this side of the building. So we'll be ready for that. Now, I might want to deal with that without the snipers, although... I guess it doesn't matter because... The extra thin men will not start spawning until I activate the VIP. But where do I set up? Because I'm pretty sure I'll trigger whatever's here, well, more Thin Man, as soon as I move to the edge of the building. We could set up, like, here, but that's not full cover. I could set up, like, here? Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I might not be able to get line of sight straight up. I still have both my rockets, so I cannot just leave my snipers back here and use the rockets. Well, one rocket. That might be the best plan, honestly. That might actually be the best plan. Just use the rocket. If we could kill the whole pod with one rocket, that would be best. Yeah, yeah, we can see that, Bradford. Calm down. We will figure it out. So, okay. Let's move a bit closer first. Without triggering anything. We leave snipers back here. And this should be fine. Okay, yep, this is fine. Yeah, you guys stay back here. No need for Overwatch, because there are no patrols on this map. Everything is static. Okay. We have enough movement. So I'm pretty sure we'll trigger the Thin Man as soon as we go, like, here. I'm pretty sure we will. That's gonna happen. So that means I will not be able to use the rocket. It will be blocked. Unless I could go like somewhere over here and not trigger them. We still have the actual regular grenades. So this might be fine. Okay, this might actually be fine. Maybe we can take them out with grenades. Yeah, there they are. 
Yeah, I knew they are here. I just wasn't sure where exactly. Uh, that might be too far away for a grenade. Is it? No, it's fine. We can hit one of them. I think that's still worth it, because we'll blow up his cover. Okay, that's still worth it. Let's do this. We'll kill at least one of them. My concern is, as usual, partial cover, but we have another smoke grenade. So my plan is to use a smoke grenade. We have two smoke grenades, even. We don't have to hit him, but that should be pretty easy from the high ground. Does it matter who's going to do it? Not really. I guess Kibwe can do it. We should still spread out a little bit because poison. I'm a little bit worried we'll get killed regardless. Because they can do 5 non-critical damage. So anyone who has less than 5 health can get killed with a non-critical shot. That can definitely happen. So that worries me a little bit. Okay, let's spread out a little bit to avoid poison. I don't have any more medkits. 98%. If we get lucky, maybe we can kill the other Thin Man, but I'm not holding my breath. It's unlikely. No, I would have to take two shots and hit with both of them. That's pretty unlikely to happen. Okay, that's actually pretty unlikely to happen. I think what I might do instead... Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just hunker down with Arpid to avoid him getting hit and throw a small grenade with our other guy from like back where he's standing right now. He'll have full cover that way. Yeah, so hunker down with our pit and then throw a smoke grenade. Okay, let's go. Hopefully we'll be safe. But it's not a guarantee by any stretch of imagination. Might as well still overwatch. Hey, if we get really lucky, we might get a shot with Elsa, but probably not. Still, it's possible. Alright. Of course, they are immune to poison. Okay, yeah, he used the poison. So unfortunately, I'll just have to take some damage. Because I don't have any more medkits. We know, Bradford, calm down. We're still busy, can't you see? Can I flank his ass? Yes, kind of. I can. That's not exactly safe. Let's take two shots with Malche first. I could take a shot and then throw a grenade. Okay, that's not great. I was going to save one grenade for the second part of this mission. Okay, got one shot. Now we can flank him. I can flank him with two different people. Surely one of them will hit, right? Surely you guys wouldn't miss, right? You wouldn't do that to me. Aye, aye, Commander. Come on, bro. Here's your chance to get some experience. 79%. We got it. Okay, good. So now all of the Thin Men for the first part of this mission should be dead. We need to set up for the second part. The second part is trickier. Aye, aye, Commander. It kind of sucks I won't be able to heal this, but all right. Again, I don't have any more medkits. So here's the problem. Once we grab the VIP, they will start spawning all over the place. We could set up Heinrich on this building. Okay, this should be a little bit better for someone without squad sight. We'll do that. Because they will spawn all over the place. Yeah, yeah, you'll just have to eat that poison. Sorry, buddy. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, one more tick. He will grab the VIP. We should reload everything. Have I ever mentioned how much I dislike this mission? It's easily one of the hardest missions early on. 
Imagine doing this with only four soldiers. That's why I really wanted to get squad size too. That's why I was really trying to rush that captain promotion. And we got it. That was a big help, even with three supports. Okay, so Heinrich could set up here or here. That's the thing, if I stand here, he will be flankable from this direction. If I stand here, he will be flankable from this direction. So, well, he's going to be exposed from one direction no matter what. Let's just do this. If you could go here. Okay, that makes sense. And Heinrich only has four health. He's going to die if he gets grazed by a thin man. That's gonna happen. Not that graze is a thing in here. But you know what I mean. Alright, where do we want Mache? Yeah, yeah, we'll get him, Bradford. Calm down. We noticed, bro. We're trying to not get killed here. Calm down. It's fine. Oh yeah, right, one more person back here. Okay, boy. High ground, obviously. We still have the rockets. Well, I guess I could go here-ish. That probably makes sense. I don't remember where exactly they are going to spawn. I'm pretty sure one of them will spawn somewhere on top of this building. And I think one of them will also spawn, like, here. That's why I want to have some people, like, on this side of this building. And then I think one will spawn on the low ground. Something like that. I could have just looked up my own old videos before doing this. I could have done that, yeah. I want to have a good chance to use that rocket I mean over here is probably fine it's just that I want to spread out to avoid poison you know especially since I don't have any more medkits let's go here again so that we won't have more than one person getting hit with poison that would be really really bad okay so now we can go I guess this should be interesting so, okay, our pit will grab him. And then... We probably don't want to move too much. Because, if I remember correctly, the spawns get triggered by the VIP movements. So, they will spawn more when we move closer towards the evac. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. Anyway, let's go grab him. Moment of truth. If the first part looked hard, this is the actual- wait. What the heck? Wait, why- what? Hold on, hold on, what the heck happened? Why did we not get him? What? Commander, looks like there's still someone- Wait, what's happening? I might have to save and reload here. Maybe we can figure out what happened here. Yeah, maybe we can. What's happening here? What the heck? Okay, I loaded an earlier autosave. Let's try to send a different person, like you. But don't bug out on me, seriously. You might as well leave. Okay, that worked. Man, I was really worried that I'll have to replay the entire friggin' mission. Jesus. I almost got a friggin' heart attack. With that said, we still have to actually finish this. It's not gonna be easy. Overwatch. Everyone on Overwatch. Uh, we will move this dude. But not too much. Okay, over here and hunker down. Alright, Overwatch with everyone. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, one over here. Can we kill him? Let's go, people. Four reaction shots. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get him next time. Okay, we got him. We got one of them. I can't see which one that was. I'm pretty sure it was this one. 
on the roof. Come on, what's going on? <laughs> I can't see what's going on. Okay, we hit this one and we kill this one. Nice. Uh, let's finish the job. I really want to make sure Heinrich will get the Corporal for the squad side. So let's get him the kill. Got it. Okay, okay. Let's move. So we don't want to move too much. Just a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure they will spawn based on where the VIP is. Alright, we'll just reload. Well, okay, hold on. I don't think they will spawn right now, so it should be safe to reload the snipers. But let's not reload everything. We'll reload like half of the squad. Okay, no, we're good. We can reload everyone. Okay, reload everyone. It might not be needed, but I'd rather reload. Let's not move the VIP. We'll move him on the next turn. Okay, now we can move. More will be coming. Hunker down. Overwatch. Right, let's move. I will stay on this high ground for now. We can stay there with half our squad or so. Move the other half to the other building. But Overwatch just in case they spawn right now. We already moved a bit. Yep, okay, they're coming. Go on. This one should be easy to kill. Let's go, people, kill him. Got him, nice. And that's a promotion for our pit. Okay. Go on. Only one? Okay, only one. Let's keep moving then. So we'll get our pit here. Hold on. Uh, there's a poison after he died. Uh, this should be safe though. Let's just dash all the way here. Right, I don't want to move Heinrich. So move him over to the other building. Reload the Mache, especially since he can shoot twice. Dash. We still have one rocket, right? We have both rockets, that's amazing. And we have a grenade. Okay, reload. Don't move the survivor yet. We don't want more spawns. Okay, now we can move. But let's just move a bit. Again, there's no rush. This is all scripted. Hunker down. Overwatch. Yeah, no reload now, because now they might be coming. I probably don't need many more reloads here. We are getting close. Okay, Overwatch. We can dash to the high ground, let's do that. And Overwatch. Okay, so far so good. Yep, more incoming, let's go. Oh, that's a Sectoid. Okay. About to be dead. Bit of a waste of Overwatch, but alright. Okay, one all the way in the back, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we're almost done here. We kill the Sectoid. Can we try to capture a Thin Man? Because, okay, I could try to capture him. That's a little bit greedy. But we could give it a shot. Okay, let's take a regular shot here with the sniper. It's a 25% chance I'll kill him, but if we kill him, that's okay. Okay, and we can try to capture him. But I might want to keep my distance. Because if I'm too close... And I'm forced to kill him. We'll get poisoned. Oh wait, Overwatch! Oh crap. Oh man. I almost killed Arpit with that. Yeah, I forgot for a second that they spawn on Overwatch. Okay, okay, 90% chance. Let's friggin' go. Don't miss, bro. Got him. Nice. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. 
there's one thin man all the way in the back, but that shouldn't matter. I don't know if there are any more spawns coming. I don't think so, although there might be. Uh, let's overwatch. There's that one guy, but I don't think he will be in our range. Anyway, we'll still overwatch in case more stuff spawns. I don't remember if there are any more beyond this point. Hold on, will we actually get that captured thin man? Looks like the aliens are sending I think so. Okay. Yeah, more incoming. This might be the last wave. Okay, that guy should be easy. Uh, we should get overwatch against this one. Okay, two damage. And another one. I think this is the last wave. I'm pretty sure this is the last wave. Come on, come on. Okay, nice shot. Come on, people. I need more kills. We didn't kill even one of them. Okay, that's not great. See, that's not great. I guess I'll take this shot. It's our last ammo, too. Alright, let's go. And there's that one thin man that spawned in the back. Yeah, no, that's a miss. Elsa? Man, I need this kill, bro. I really need this kill. Come on! Negative damage. Okay, that's really, really, really bad. That is extremely bad. Oh no. Oh no, that is really, really bad. That is terrible. That's seriously really bad. Okay, man, that is really bad. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think somebody will die here. I don't think I can kill this guy. And he's on Overwatch too. Like, I could move and probably get killed. I don't think I can hit him with a grenade. Okay, maybe I could throw a grenade from like here. But I don't think I can kill this thin man. Man. Dude, are you friggin' serious? I think we're screwed. See why I had this mission? This is exactly why I had this mission. Okay, if I go here, I'll get... Well, maybe I won't get flanked. A few people will get flanked already. So, like, I need at least one kill here. Okay, we got him. Sure, now you get a crit. So, yeah, I really don't know. I don't know if I can throw a grenade from, like, here. Maybe I can. I think that's my only reasonable option. And we have to trigger this overwatch. I don't really have a choice. It's a risk, but it's a risk I have to take. Manchi does have 8 health, so he can afford to get hit once. Okay, I need this grenade. We can hit him. So let's go. Okay, let's go then. And then Arpit will have to finish him off. He has to die. For damage. Okay, he has to die. That's 100. Okay, he will die. I can't move. Because if I move, I will trigger his overwatch. So I really cannot move. I have to shoot him. And I could have tried to capture him again, but that's 90%, not 100 uh, I can't get out. Not yet. Where do we move him that's safe? There's still that one other thin man in the back. Probably like here? This seems like the most reasonable spot. That thin man is no longer on Overwatch because we triggered it. He might kill somebody. Okay, no, we're good. Again, Machi had 8 health. And that thin man cannot crit for 8 damage. It was impossible for that thin man to kill us. But this was really close. This was so insanely close, I was really worried somebody will actually get killed. I was really worried somebody will get killed. Uh, anyway, let's finish him off. 
I guess I can just use a grenade if I want to, or a rocket. Can our snipers take a shot? There's still that one more thin man in the back. And I don't know where he is anymore. I have no idea. Let's take a shot with the RP. This should be like close to 100 from the high ground. 87. We got him. Get our VIP out. Do I have to kill the last thin man? I actually don't remember. Okay, we got him. You're still not getting anything from me. Okay, yeah, I think we need to get out with everyone or kill that last thin man. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any Oh, yeah, okay, we have to kill him. Fair enough. New objective received. Fair enough. I have no idea where he is. Probably like somewhere here. Yeah, I need to reload. I'm really worried he will move in and shoot someone. It's only one last thin man, but man, he could easily kill somebody. He could also use the poison. Okay, let's spread out a bit. And overwatch. This should be fine. I mean, he has four health. Hunker down. I assume he will show up. Okay, yep, he was already here inside the building. We'll get the two shots. We might actually kill him. Okay, we should kill him. Elsa has the best aim. We got him. And she got a promotion. Okay, we're friggin' done. Man, that was friggin' rough. We killed 17 mostly thin men. One sectoid. That was rough. That was really rough. But we captured a thin man, so that's nice. We got three promotions. Only one person is wounded. In the end, this is actually an amazing outcome. So this is gonna be damn good ground. That's kind of a no-brainer. Don't get me wrong, Gunslinger is actually really nice. But if we want to max out her aim, and we do, we actually want the damn good ground. So damn good ground it is then. The only downside is that this isn't always usable on every map, but it's just so good. Next up, Arpit. Yeah, that's probably going to be Field Medic. Yeah, that's going to be Field Medic. We need more than one use of a medkit in a mission. So, Field Medic. Having Field Medic for this mission would have been very helpful. This is going to be squad side, obviously. Don't get me wrong, I actually like Snapshot. But squad side is just so important. Another live capture? Please give yep. thanks to the main commander. I know it can't we got a light plasma rifle thanks to capturing that thin man. Alright then. And we got 150 credits. Also an engineer and one scientist. Okay, let me check what we're doing right now. We are building the satellite. And we want to start more excavations, so let's do that. Now that we have the money. Do I want to build anything right now? I think we want to build another access lift ASAP. And this is going to be a power generator. So, okay, I have two options. I can have workshops on the left side or on the right side. There are downsides to both approaches. If I get workshops on the right side, my adjacent sensei bonuses will be kind of bad. So this could be a power generator. Then I could have workshops or facilities that count as workshops here, in this square, and then have a thermal generator down here. And then we could have another workshop facility like either here or here, something like that. I actually have to think about the layout. I got really unlucky with the base layout here. This was really, really unlucky. Well, either way, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.